Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It is Trixie here with Pick Tricks. I am going to be getting you a Sagittarius Full Moon Tarot reading going for June 3rd of 2023. Welcome to the channel, whether you're new or returning. And as always, thank you for hitting that subscribe button down below, keeping in mind that I am not a licensed physician. So if you're not feeling well, you need to seek out a doctor, Libra. All right, so... Um, I actually started this recording and then I stepped out of character on the way that I throw cards. And so, um, I have the everyday tarot here and I started it over because I feel like there's something from your past that you did or said or partook in that was out of your character. And this is going to be like take two over the next four to five weeks, like take um, allow yourself to embrace the fresh start because the fool came out, the ten of cups came out, this is the chariot. So um, I'm going to clarify the everyday tarot with the animal tarot. And then, <clears throat> yeah, you're coming out of some sort of pause. I, I really picked that up. Like a wish was missed or like you were redirected and your North Star kind of got off kilter. Um, and you're finally seeing the offer that spirit is giving you, Libra, and, and owning it is what I'm hearing. I'm going to close out the reading with the Fairy of the Oracles. If you're interested in more energies astrologically on this full moon in Sagittarius, Libra, there is going to be some links to Molly McCord and Pam Gregory down in the description box that you can check out the astrological energies of this full moon. Um... Yeah, I feel like there's like an imbalance in your life and it that imbalance was actually a wish come true so that you could could honor and be still and take part in recognizing what you do want in life. And yeah, the magician. You've been in a state of like real heavy, the four of swords is out here, the star in reverse is out here. So, um they actually didn't come in that order. They came out as the star in reverse, the four of swords, and the magician. And I feel like something in your life came in an unexpected order. Like you um, are revamping, reordering. Yeah, the king of swords is on the bottom of the deck. So there's like, there's like an idea or an understanding. There's some really protected situation in your life that you are full-blown manifesting on your own. The next four to five weeks, and it might just really be four weeks for most of my Libras, um, you have literally the Midas touch. And there's another sign that I actually already titled that and it um, is releasing before I believe I even um, upload this video. And there's something here about like what you touch turns to gold you're probably investing in something that you're just going to trust your intuition on what you're investing in. And that thing is going to come out on top. Like you are not expecting the creation that you put out into the world just yet over the next four to five weeks, but it's going to be very successful. You haven't been pointed in the direction of your North Star until about this four to five weeks. You've been amping up, preparing, really resting, meditating, taking care of yourself, figuring out what it is and who it is you want to work with. Yeah, five of wands. Don't force anything over the next four to five weeks. Like things are just going to naturally come into your life. I feel like there's some combative energy in your life, okay? The ten of wands. It's quite the burden to engage for whatever this energy is. Um, you might find yourself really feeling the call to go back in and meditate or pray or journal or be on your own in isolation every time you're around this energy. And I feel like you need to really focus on what doesn't feel heavy or chaotic or um, like you're on defense over the next four to five weeks. Like if you feel on defense, you feel like something's really heavy, you feel judged, you feel in a state of not being able to be heard, um, like your North Star is being blocked, don't engage with that energy. Just don't. Let's get the last card here. Yeah, you have five swords out here actually because of the sword on the table of the magician and then you have the five of wands so um yeah there's some sort of energy that's like unintentionally draining you or causing you pain and suffering and i feel like that energy is really out of touch with its own uranus placement or its own like north star it like has this this energy isn't really vibrating at your your level or your space but because 
of your circumstances or what you're building, what you're manifesting, you need this energy to really give you the structure that you need to trust the process, to be um, divinely guided to a faded moment in time over the next four to five weeks. Wow, a lot of cards came out here and I only need, yeah, Knight of Swords, the Nine of Cups and the Tower in the reverse. I feel like um, focus on, and then three, four, five was on my watch. So um, big, huge shift in your own energy. When you get out of your own way and you recognize that what you are surrounding yourself with or what you are being surrounded by is actually a wish come true because it's confirming to you that you're on the right path, that you are changing the structure of your life and moving down the path that you need to. I feel like you're Libra. You have a lot going on in your life. Like you are very busy. You're very exhausted. Like all you want to do is be in this four of swords and meditate and in, in solitude and pray and manifest and um, journal and be on your own. And the five of, the five of pentacles is on the bottom of the deck in reverse. It's like you are tired of being left out in the cold. You're tired of not being understood being misunderstood and I feel like every time that you feel misunderstood or you feel like you have to be on on defense or combative instead of giving attention to that situation I'm not sure I understand. you're <laughs> recommend somebody really doesn't understand you um they just are not on your wavelength and and like you are starting to wake up to that over the next four to five weeks Libra like you are just in this energy where you're like anything that I have to force with the five of wands I, I'm not I'm not game there I'm not playing with that I don't I don't want to um I don't even want to look at that and and you know good for you because by acknowledging what you don't want the universe can show up and present you with what you do want and I feel like here you are stepping out of some sort of comfort zone that you've been placed in for quite some time and you are mastering yourself in some area of life because you have all that you need in order to create some sort of new fresh start. Um, this is very solitary energy. Um, and as you go along your path and your journey, some energies are going to fall away out of your life and some energies are going to be presented to you. You have a message coming. I'm going to pop my knuckles. Um, I actually feel this energy of like, I always pop my knuckles when I'm nervous. And, um, or like when I'm opening up vulnerably with somebody, I'm opening up about my feelings, my emotions, or they are opening up to me. Um, my knuckles like are a trigger that I know that things are uncomfortable. But if I get through that uncomfortability, it will be a positive energy. And I feel like that's what you're in, Libra. It's like you know that the spirit is bringing this tower in reverse to make you uncomfortable because it is just time. And with this Knight of Swords, you're really moving in a new direction. You are going down some new path. Like the message shows up and it is the very wish that you need to recognize that all you could ever dream of and imagine, you already have at your disposal. Um, it's already there. It's already showing up for you and it will be a wish come true. It's just not going to be the wish that you think it is. The star in reverse. Let's see what the animal tarot has to say about that. I kind of feel like somebody's spilling all over your like dream or like your north star. Or somebody's trying to like block it. And when you're alone, you know that. Yeah, Ace of Spring. Okay, so tonight... After you watch this, I want you here, Libra, to take a pencil and paper. And I want you to write down two wishes, two desires, two things that you would like spirit to help you manifest over the next four to five weeks. Don't put any hows. Don't put like restrictive parameters around it. Allow yourself to just ask for something from spirit. Ask for two different things. One of them will come true. It will manifest almost instantaneously in spite of whatever the Five of Wands is. The Four of Swords has the Seven of Spring. Yeah, you need to take a leap of faith and trust some sort of process. You need to be assertive. You need to believe in yourself. You need to let anyone who does not truly support you or, or that might take away your personal power fall out of your life. Do not fear who and what is leaving your life because they are no longer for your highest and best good. The, the gecko has skills that literally like no other animal on this planet that isn't like a spider has the capability of walking vertically up a wall. They have these little suction cuppy things on the bottom of their feet and they are one of the only types of animals in the planet that have that. 
um, you know, they are s s secure in the fact that when they need to get out of a moment, they were, are willing to even lose their tail because they know it will grow back. They know it might, um, you know, it, it's like this energy where it's like whatever you are losing, it will come back to you in a different form. And I feel like something or someone keeps breaking your heart or like you keep focusing on your true north star and this is breaking somebody else's heart because they're not focused on their true north star um there's just something here that is really imbalanced in your life and a seven and an ace of, of spring equals an eight of wands so the download is here you truly are in isolation receiving guidance from spirit and that is what is propelling you forward into the magician um the magician energy is like this fresh start. You have taken the steps down the new path and now you have been presented. Oh man, see, and then that three of swords came out. Um, you have been given all of the tools at your beck and call that you need in order to manifest a healing opportunity for your heart. I feel like um, you've been sad for quite some time here, Libra. You've been in a state of feeling alone feeling like you don't have a leg to stand on, like people are not supporting you or they're judgmentally supporting you. They don't really see your vision. Um, not being surrounded by people, places, and things that are on your wavelength, on your vibration. Um, that's because you're a conduit. You're a trailblazer. You've been left out in the cold with this five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck because you are like a fish out of water. You are in some energy that is just not meant for you and you are not meant for it. And that energy is about to be wiped out of your life over the next four to five weeks and it'll be at your own hands, okay? You will change your life. You will change your circumstances over the next four to five weeks simply because you have the tools to do it. And you're going to have the courage and the belief in yourself, the faith in yourself to do it here, Libra. So um, what's this five of wands? Prince of winner. Yeah. So uh, another knight of swords, okay? Um, so things are about to pick up speed. So a lot of things is going to change in your life and you need to choose reason and logic and intellect over emotion because you're going to be asked to make a lot of decisions that you need to be decisive, focused, and, and impulsively trust yourself. And this next four to five weeks is giving you the strength and the courage to always trust yourself above other people. I feel like there are some people still, still kind of lingering from your past. It might even be like an Aquarius that are living rent free in your house, your head. It might be in your house even. And it's time to really let go of this, this voice or this belief or this structure. And I feel like you're going to be inspired over the next four to five weeks in a way that almost purposefully puts you in a state of isolation. And that might cause a lot of other people some pain and suffering. They might really be struggling with why you're choosing the path and the direction that you're choosing. And it's because you feel called to some sort of purpose. You feel called to do something. If it's easy for you to do it, you are, um, the Empress is on the bottom of the deck as I'm talking. It's like you are a divine insp inspiration. You are the mother of a create creation that only you can, can bear into this world. And as soon as you believe that wholeheartedly Libra in yourself, you will heal this three of winter, this, this three of swords, whatever is causing you pain and suffering. And you will come out much stronger in the end. Okay. What's this knight of swords, this tower in reverse, and this nine of cups? You really need to release the idea of communicating with some type of energy and, and just let go. Like, let go and let God is a really great phrase for you, Libra, right now. Um, you're going to get some really healthy advice over the next four to five weeks from like a new energy. This is a wish come true. It's almost like permission is being given to you in the next four to five weeks to just be and do and say and believe and have and experience life to its fullest. And that's really what the tools are that you need to move forward. Yeah, Queen of Autumn, the Knight of Swords, the Tower and the Sun. 
a really healing opportunity. The knight, <laughs> can't ex the tower and then the nine of cups. So um, double tower here. So big, huge shift. The nine, the nine of summer, double tower, not, double nine of summer, double knight of swords, <laughs> double tower. I mean, come on here, Libra. You have such a beautiful opportunity of downloads and healing experiences coming into your life that these changes you go through over the next four to five weeks, they might directly be related to your home. Um, it's like you are saving yourself from some circumstance, okay? I feel like you're not waiting for anybody to save you or to show up for you. And it, it, there is some defensive energy in your life. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like you are actually progressing in life because you are no longer giving to some sort of defensiveness, some sort of like on guard, feeling like you can't can't speak for for saving a situation like no matter what you say or do you just are always combated there's just somebody here that just keeps breaking your heart or some type of investment or a relationship engagement something here and it's like every time your heart gets broken you go into solitude and you just come out with like mad manifestation skills and <clears throat> your inner guide is really propelling you forward on this so that you can transmute this energy so let's go ahead and get this nine of i just want to tell you nine of cups and the five of pentacles in reverse on the bottom of the decks it's like you're coming out of the cold and you're doing it all by your damn self okay um <clears throat> i feel like somebody wants to keep giving you advice and they think that it's really caring creative thoughtful they think that they're really helping you and they're like a positive inspiration in your life and this energy has put themselves on such a high pedestal they have no idea that you're about to knock them down and you're not even going to do it in a shitty way you're just going to very gracefully like knock somebody down off their own damn pedestal that they put themselves on good for you we're going to get an oracle of the fairies here to close out this reading, Libra. Just don't force anything. Don't give any attention to anything in your life that feels heavy or exhausting. Um, it might be something as simple as like somebody reaches out to you here in the next four to five weeks and they would like to rekindle or they would like to be back in your life. They're not on your path. And they're going to show that to you like instantly. You're going to understand this person is only back in your life because they don't know how to shine as bright as you do without you around. And that's their problem. They need to get their shit together, Libra. They need to, to step up their game and take care of themselves the way that you're taking care of yourself. With this Seven of Wands and this Four of Swords, you are putting in some really heavy work over the next four to five weeks. A lot going on with this Knight of Swords, double Knight of Swords at that, where it's like you're just busy as F. You don't have time to deal with the pettiness or the drama. And that's going to break some people's hearts because they don't, they're not in a place to understand that they're being dramatic or they're being petty or they're being, um, you know, blocking you from some sort of successful outcome. They don't see your vision and that's okay. Um, not everybody's going to be in a situation where they can see what you can see Libra and that's okay. The, 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 the balances will happen for you. All right, let's see here. Oracle of fairies close out this reading motivation. Okay. That's like double knight of swords all day long in Magician. Um, when spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. That's a great way to end this reading. Um, yeah, instead of, you know, focusing or even giving attention to whatever this five of wands and this three of swords is and the towers are, it's like, you know, what are you motivated? What are you motivated by? What are you inspired by? What gives you energy when you're all by yourself, Libra? Because that is um, exactly what you need to be focused on. And I also feel like uh, adding a tidbit that you lost something at some point in time over the last like year. And uh, it's coming back to you. So um, something very, very valuable in your life is coming back to you. Um, and the reason it's coming back to you is because you're so busy doing your North Star, your purpose, and you're so motivated by taking accountability and taking action towards a life that you truly are proud of, that now you are going to receive something you lost at a time when you weren't really appreciating it. And now you will truly appreciate it because of what you're invested in now. So thank you for tuning in. Please check out all of your big four. Make sure that you're checking out Molly McCord and Pam Gregory's readings on the uh, Sagittarius full moon as well. And I will get at you next time, Libra. Thanks for tuning in.